We continue our journey. Hmm. The journey being playing 100 Paladin games. At the moment we are at 40. Last 24 hours were 30. I told you that I usually expect to have like... Well, today was also my off, so... I guess 30 games is reasonable for the off day. But usually I would expect like having like a possibility of getting 40 games, 40 games per day, which would make it like two and a half days until we get our performance going. Creeper turn two into master turn three is really good. Equality is interesting. It's interesting if you already have the creeper and the master. Really is interesting. Like against Secret Paladin, you can equality them, right? I'm really wondering to keep it. I'm really wondering whether we should keep it. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm just thinking. It's good against a lot of stuff. You already have those two. I think we should keep it. In this case. In this case. Only with Keeper and Creeper. Only with Master and Creeper. Job's done. Only in this case. Look at this. Keeper again into Master. So good. Only in that case I would recommend keeping equality. Only in that specific case. Because we got both, we got this and this. So then it makes a lot of sense to keep it. You got consecration. The only consecration in the deck. We should be so happy. Oh. I don't even know. Usually in those games we mess it up because we have such a good hand. So we have the creeper as a turn two drop, which plays it in curve. We have Master for Battle, which is basically the strongest card in the mirror. We have it despite playing it only once. We have equality to have the drawback also against other stuff. We didn't see any secrets yet, but we have the master to prevent. Like the equality to prevent the challenger if, if it comes. We have this into a 1 1, which we will definitely get because consecration is still not consecration turn. But we have the consecration as being a 1 off, but that's one of the strongest cards against Paladin, but we got it. Um, yeah, there's master possibility, so we have to kill that. Just because there's master possibility, but there is no consecration possibility yet, because he spent the coin. So, we should also break the creeper before he can actually play consecration. We could have also played this, but then again, with the knife juggler, knife juggler attacks Ecolite, and then he could play master, and then that's really gonna be very ugly. This could have attacked creeper, knife juggler attacks Ecolite, and then. Yeah. Unless we attacked it before. That's actually interesting, like with the Ecolite. Like we could have played the Ecolite and attack, for example, with the Creeper Knife Juggler. Knife Juggler stays 3 1. We have a 1 3 Ecolite on board. So then it's more difficult with the Master. Yeah, but he could have still mastered or whatever, even attacking the Ecolite and then. Master, yeah, no, not a good idea, okay. Yeah, we should send one of those and Consecration is not a good idea. It's also much better later. So we play either Ecolite or Keeper. And Keeper is so insane. Keeper is just such insane value. It's just so good value. And, um, yeah, because of Consecration we should send one in. 
Uh, like uh, we should send all in, I mean, because of consecration. It's a consecration turn now. Keeper of Ulodaman just it was so insane. I don't even, I cannot even describe how insane. It was 4 mana, 5 6, deals 2 into phase. Yeah, the weapon of course attacked something, but of course the minion definitely, the leg definitely a spider attacked this, and this definitely attacks the 1-1. One, one. So the only question was should we trade 2 into shielded mini bot? But again, consecration, it hits much harder if you keep these 2 minions, and he can even attack this before consecration. Like now, consecration doesn't really hit. Uh, also, we play a little bit around mind control attack, but he could have already played it, so that's not of concern. It's probably mid-range Paladin itself, because, yeah, he, we didn't see any secrets yet. Yeah, he reduced the power of the Keeper. Not really something we would mind. I wonder... Yeah, obviously no equality. We could hit it with these three or we could hit it with one. So we just hit it with one because our life count is also already 22. Which is not... Which is not um, infinite. Also taking here this three damage is worse. Also this can actually clear all the minions he will produce with this or with Master. Which is also really good. We should keep on the weapon charges because we don't have any other weapons. We play Highlander and we have equality. All these three reasons being very important reasons. Oh, I don't know whether that was good from him. Like, um, now we draw more cards with the Ecolite. Uh, if you want to do that. 3, 4, 5 damage. Hmm. In order to do that we would need to play Consecration. For only one minion. Vier, zwei, fünf. I think we do that. Ah, but we have a quality consecration, right? Uh, perhaps we just don't. Perhaps we just play the Jouster. It's only one card, right? We get seven life back. Um, he cannot play Consecration. Before he plays Consecration, he has to do the attack anyways. If he does the attack, we have four, four minutes on the board, but it's only three, basically, so... Yeah, you get the point. It would not even be such a good Consecration, that's what I'm saying. But our Consecration is super, super stupid to play the Consecration here. Yes, we get an additional card, but... Uh, <laughs> yeah. But on the other hand, the consecration is worse. Like so, against Paladin, having a quality consecration is worth as much as two cards. The consecration alone, I mean, like it's just very good to have this. Why didn't we have the true silver champion the turn before? It would have been so much better. Then we could have drawn two cards. Oh. The Peacekeeper got created by the Jewel Scarab. So, it's a good one. Uh, we could begin to True Silver? I mean... No, nah, no, 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 and then what? Perhaps we should just deploy Dr. Boom. I don't know. Equality doesn't make any sense. Consecration 
could make sense, but it's, I think, not good enough. You can also not do anything else. Um, mind control deck will come handy better, so I really don't want to play it. And if you play True Silver, yeah, you get the point. We should just play whatever is in turf. That's it. No attack, no attacks. We could do these attacks, but why should we? Because of Consecration? Okay, whatever. If he has Consecration, then we will probably then we will play Consecration and that here, and then we will be able to mind control tech. Also, it appears that he doesn't have Consecration, that's the other thing. So that was the other thing, that he probably doesn't even appear to have Consecration. What else is there? If you play Shrewd Scarab, this is probably a Highlander, so he will probably not have Consecration anyways. And, um... Like, otherwise, what should be, like, a Scarab doing in this deck? So, if you don't have any other indication, I would assume that it's Highlander with Reno Jackson. And... And, uh, therefore, also not very likely to have Consecration in the deck. Oh no, it's a third piece keeper. Never mind, it's not a Highlander. He just played Jules Scarab because uh, he thinks the card is good. Um, but yeah, so he still doesn't have Consecration. But you see that we could get value out of this, as we already wondered. Oh no, here, yeah, there is Consecration. Yeah, this should still stay. We can combine a quality into Keltus at turn 10, actually getting back the 7-7s seven and stuff. Plus we should just play, well, okay. Um, okay, this is for sure. We have either Consecration, For two minions, this goes 3 1. This attacks this, leaving him with a 1 2. Option number 1. Option number 2. True silver. I like true silver more. We don't need to do the attack. I mean. We should have done the attack. <laughs> I'm stupid. Mm. I'm already tired too. I have to admit. Consecration, weapon attack, and this attacks too. So this can get sacrificed more easier for that. It was not a very clever one I played here. Not very useful. We should have actually, uh, by the way, attacked with this. We would have attacked with this, this slime. So leaving this at 1-2 could have been revived to 7-7. Seven, seven. <sighs> God! Hey, man! So ein sh... Hey! Man! Of course this attacks is 3-1, come on guys! Of course this attacks is 3-1, this leaves a 1-2. This attacks 3-1, this leaves a 1-2. We have a Shredder and a 1-2. What happens? Yeah! Insane, guys, insane! This attacks the 1-1. One, one. 
Okay, now we have a 1-2 against a 1-1 one, one and a shredder. So if something like this happens, this goes here, this goes into this. We play this, we get the shredder back. Hey. This is so... Hey, if you would know how much I hate bad plays. If you would only know how much I despise bad plays. Then you're like, yeah, uh, uh, I really don't like bad plays. I would even go as far to say that I hate bad plays. In all seriousness. Do you know... Like I'm the trader, I'm the value trader. Let's get let's get one one three three two two and a seven seven back. Not a one four. No no. We we give a one four but we get a seven seven. We we give a two two but we get a two two with divine shield. Yeah, so this these are the trades I like. Okay, so It won't get better than that, right? It just won't get better than that. It would be really, really, really greedy to wait another turn. Obey my command! And if he doesn't have a quality, that's gonna do it. And he only plays one equality in the deck. 40% that he got it. 40% he got equality in 60% of the cases we insta win. Yeah, we just insta win. And he already played Consecration, so even if he does have equality, what does he do against those? He, if he plays equality, he needs to kill this first. So he would probably waste 5 attack damage on that one and would soak up 6. He could have Lion Hands and stuff, but Lion Hands doesn't even heal him. And it's not that, I mean, it's not that this is not like 18 damage or something. I guess this is okay. I guess this is okay too. I mean, we got, we just got a lot of value, right? We just got a lot of value. And a lot of value being um, a lot of value. Like, we got a 7-7. Seven, seven, a 3-3 three, three, which is 10, 13, 14. Okay, for that we also made bad attacks or not that great attacks, but we got a lot of value. Okay. Um, silence is nothing, we have here a clean attack. For justice. Clean attack. For justice, we get back life and power. Destruction. Okay, so we have too many minions anyways, or a lot of minions, so I would really like to get rid of some. So for example here. Yeah, Tyrion is very good on an empty board. Divine Shield doing all this work. He also needs an Owl. Also, we stay mana efficient if you play this. And we should hero power every turn as long as we are kind of flat as we are. Um, yeah, sending two onto this. I really don't know about it. I don't see it to be honest. We just go here full face. Yeah, I mean, the thing is. Uh, with this deck we should never run out of cards because this is so greedy and so value heavy it's really unbelievable you you probably <laughs> haven't seen like such a greedy deck in a while I mean I can just sh also show it after the game but it's like it's greedy as fuck like it's it's so greedy I mean just like Kernel Sky Golem I mean like okay to that yeah I mean you never see any of those cards in any deck like Kern, yeah, when like that must have been 2014 when you saw Kern, ah, 2013 when you saw Kern last, and like Sky Golem, yeah, Sky Golem, guys, have you ever, oh, this looks sick, but okay, I mean, it's okay, right, I mean, oh, no, ah, yeah, okay, no, that's okay, it's okay, as long, I don't know, it's good, it's good, yeah, I did this 3 one, but it's still good. Bam! Boom! 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 
5, 6, 7, 12. Ja, und k to z k to z ja, ja, k to z ja. Okay. Ja, whatever. Like, I mean, ja, k to z Ah, this guy deck is greedy as fuck, guys. I mean, like, uh, Tyrion Fordring very greedy, but of course also very good. I mean, this is not considered to be greedy, but here, k to z guys. But now what I mean is like, I mean, but it's safe. Or should we go from here? I don't even know where to go, but it's like, yeah, we can also start here, but I mean, it's like, um, uh, early game. But, I mean, if you play Highlander Singleton, there is not so much early game, right? I mean, you could run two, but no, there is only one. You could also run two, you could run two, you could run two. You could run two, but no, you run one of everything. This is not considered early game because it draws your cards for late game, so this is even greedier. Um, one of those weapons, only one of those removals. But for that, for each card we actually took out in the early game, we added one card in the late game. And this then uh, suddenly results in stuff like having Kern Bloodhoof. Yeah, where is the Horde? I mean, like. Cam Bloodhoof, yeah, no, you never will see him, yeah, with Cam Bloodhoof. Um, Sky Golem, Sky Golem, guys. When, Ty, when I showed Tyce this, uh, he was laughing at me, uh, greedy as fuck. And, uh, uh, like, what, I mean, Tyce was already laughing at me when I told him that, like, when he saw, like, three six drops, and this is, like, five six drops. Yeah, Bloodhoof, Sky Golem, Bloodhoof and Sky Golem. And, uh, and uh, what? Yeah, Keltuzad, guys. Keltuzad, yeah, of course, Keltuzad, yeah. Yeah. And lay on hands, yeah, and lay on hands. The greed. This is actually way too greedy, to be honest. How did we even win with this deck? How did we even manage to win games with this deck? Thorison. I mean, Thorison, of course, if it's, if it's as greedy as this deck, of course, Thorison, yeah. I mean, Thorison suddenly makes a lot of sense if you run so many late game big stuff, super big man ultra drops. Yeah, of course. Suddenly Thorison makes sense, but yeah, whatever. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, you get the point, you got the message, right? You got the message. Um, paw. But the thing is, and this is the thing, if the deck is as greedy as it is, do you know what we do with Warrior? Yes, exactly. This is what we do with Warrior. No, 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 we should not keep. We need Tyrion. Yeah, Tsomichau is okay. Tsomichau uh, is actually very good at the beginning because he's so much better at the beginning than later. So we need, we need this, yeah, we need Tsomichau. We need Tsomichau. We very much need Tsomichau. At the beginning, it's so good. Yeah. Either he has a fiery or he needs to do this and then we can simply clear it. Perhaps it's Highlander, then it only runs one fiery. It's Patron. Patron doesn't... Yeah, Against Patron, of course, it's much worse. Yeah, against Patreon it's much worse. Yeah. But Patreon without a drop, really? We will see. Berserk would be the first drop. Berserk actually would be good at this board. Perhaps you just forgot to produce armor, I don't know. Yeah, you could laugh at me and would say, well, what forgot? But yeah, you would sometimes really wonder what's happening. Yeah, mind control tech. Uh, pff, yeah, I mean, Let me think. 
MC tech. Yeah, chances of getting value from the MC tech is uh, very slim. Slim, slim. Slim, slim, slim. Even if Deathbite, Deathbite also answers it. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. I don't have to play it. We have a quality consecration in case it would be patron. Of course we don't know. It's probably not patron, he simply forgot to armor up. <laughs> That's like the easiest explanation. Yeah. But yeah. Feebot no. Murloc Knight. Just like this without value no. Coin into Belcher. Delivering him the Let me think. No. 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 We just don't do that. Don't we? We could. No. Hmm? No. Oh, probably not. We, I don't know. Let me think. No. We should not. We probably shouldn't. Next time we can deploy the Sky Golem. It's not bad. We could have traded the Belcher. So what we would have done is if we would have played the Belcher, we would have um, had now 1-2 and the 2-2. Two -two. So trading 1-2, two, 2-2 two -two against two cards in our hand. I was not sure whether I wanted to do that. Probably rather not. Okay, so this answers this directly, right? Yeah. I really like that we have a quality consecration. Yeah, okay. So he simply forgot to armor up. No? Yeah, that's the case. He simply forgot to armor up, guys. Of course, that was the thing. There was no inner rage or whatever, or bloody rage or battle super. Yeah, nothing of that. He just forgot to <laughs> token up uh, armor up. But keep in mind that our list is very, very greedy. Keep in mind that our list is very, very, very much greedy. Yeah. Okay. So, so what is it? They didn't even lose any life yet. Yeah, Merlock Knight into Divine Shield is possibility, right? Yeah, or token into... Okay, the thing is if we give the token Divine Shield, this actually depletes the Divine Shield. Then we can as well play Merlock Knight into Divine Shield. Yeah, Merlock Knight will probably die, but is it a problem or... Um, I mean, we really want to do the cock hammer attack, and if we do the cock hammer attack, we produce the minion. Uh, the minion gets... Uh, well... That's a good minion against our minion. Yeah, perhaps we should have not done it. It was a really close one. If you produce the minion and play the core camera, that sucks. Because then he can simply, with a 2-2, which he usually gets, he can simply attack our guy. And then the Divine Shield simply fades away for nearly no value. And I really didn't, I don't know. It seemed wrong, but... Yeah. Also, I had in mind that it's not very easy to get rid of a 4 health minion, so it's not incredibly easy to do that. But he managed to do so, so whatever. But it's not that bad. We have this attack. <laughs> Boom! Weapon charge on the 1 to a neutron, so good. And... 
Yeah, this for later, I guess. It's very much for later. Sky Golem, huh? Sky Golem is pretty good on this board, right? Especially because we know that he doesn't have the death bite left or whatever. So, four heads is really crucial and it's really bad to get rid of. Um, and Sylvanas, well, um, whatever, we just. I mean, Lothab is better later. We can agree on that Lothab is better later. Yeah, this deck is greedy like hell. I have no idea. Um, crush! Oh, Crush! That means it's Highlander. This is like a Highlander, perhaps. Oh, let's do it a bit. Boom! And the last bam, charge of the cock hammer. This is so good because usually you don't get anything out of that. And we just got everything out of it. Is this the fishing tournament? Echolight, okay, and we got the shield mini, but hey, that we don't can yeah, that was a little bit. Yeah, of course we produce a minion. There is Brawl, but mm, whatever, I mean Percy doesn't even want to use Brawl on these three. I dream. This is quite ridiculous. <sighs> mm. Yeah, vier acht gegen elf. I think we are forced to use the equality here, but we cannot get him a second E0 card, but um, we have 9 attack stats, so we could gamble on knife juggle actually hitting. If it hits, we don't need to use the equality, but we can then use the consecration, but then we would still need to attack with those, so I mean, it doesn't really get better, right? No, it doesn't. We can use equality and then we can actually use this and even use Lothar. Um, he can still brawl, so that was nonsense. I was, well, never mind. I didn't think at all, I guess. I was just playing too quickly. That is what I did. We should have simply hero powered. What I did was absolute rubbish. It's better against Baron Gadon. We are to lose this. Whatever happens, we aren't to lose this game. Did they really just throw in Lothab? Wow. Wow, I cannot believe my stupidity. Seriously not. I just cannot believe it. I'm so frustrated at the very moment. Ah. Wow. Well, that was so bad. I don't even know how I would scale this badness. That was so bad. Wow. But on the other hand, we have late. It's late, right? And we need the performance. But that just was so bad. I really not believe that I just played that. Wow. It was so unbelievably bad. Ah.
Hm. Ha, ja, cool. Ja, no. Ähm. Wow. Oh yeah, we may not play this. If we play this then... I don't think the life will ever matter. Um, I was just calculating whether we may even play that because, um, well, perhaps we may not. I was wondering whether we should play this to get shielded minibots back and stuff. But I didn't really see it, to be honest, because, um, well, we would have needed to make like complete rubbish attacks to make it happen. So I was not really... Hmm. 11 against 12. Pfft. I guess we need to draw the cards, right? Before we do nothing. Maybe what I'm saying is we cannot just do nothing. Yeah, the 5-5 five -five would have really helped. The 5-5 five -five was the border, the, 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 the game-changing point, if you want to say so. You cannot win otherwise. It sucks big time. If we don't play it like this, we cannot win otherwise. We have to try to apply pressure and win with the amount of value in our deck. If we don't, we have no chance. Brawl is out of the way, so we can perhaps just try to play a lot of stuff. This is Reno Jackson, what you got right. Tyrion, huh? Let me think. Tyrion will die, but... He could get Tyrion by Sylvanas and shield slamming his own. Perhaps he doesn't have it yet. Let me think. Yeah, perhaps we should deploy first board control. But how do we do it? True silver. Um Master for Battle? No. Perhaps... Perhaps just play him and hope.
What do we do? Trusiver and what? And and token and keeper? That would have been it. Like attack, attack, trusiver, reinforce, keeper. 3 4 and 3 3. Um, 3 4, 3 3. But keep in mind that if he plays Savannah and, and shield slams it, and this lives. So he needs to also play slam. So he needs to play Savannah, slam this, which is actually pretty bad. And then he can shield slam Savannah, get this, and then we silence it. Yeah, I think it's okay. I think that was the play. We played the right play. We need this to actually get value out of our weapons. So that we can also clear big guys. Oh, he just took 6 damage. That's a lot. Only to damage it, yeah. That's a lot. I guess we don't mind this here. Mm. So what I'm saying is we could have true silvered and getting 3-3 three, three and 3-4. Three, the other end we could also simply do this. Yeah, one one attack this, that was... Yeah, that was rubbish that the one one could attack that. And then he attacked with this, okay, to deal, like, that was okay, alright, I mean, 6 damage, only 2 damage it. We have to use the keeper, I don't know. I know it's inconsequent. Then we should have done it the other way around. If we played like this anyways, we could have played true silver, cleared the ape, and then played this and Ulderman. I think it would have been really been better. We don't necessarily need the Ulderman for... Yeah, but then I don't even know why I just played this on that. Yeah, it's, I don't know, guys. This is fucked up. We have all the weapons, but we don't have anything else. It's funny, isn't it? Highlander perhaps he plays my control tech. But, yeah. We should have probably not produced. Ah, on the other hand, this is so good to produce more. Brawl is already out. I think it's good. Mm. We played it. Five against eight. We should have done it before. We should have true severed the ape. Then token keeper of Uladaman, then he would have probably killed one, but we could have probably then deployed armor smith or killed armor smith and then getting the Tyrion as a real big threat online. So there's no MC tech in his hand. We can wonder whether he got another brawl. I'm happy that we produced the minion I guess. Yeah, there's the Reno Jackson. Reno Jackson means the following, there is not a second brawl, guys. <laughs> and there's not a second brawl means it's easy for us. We will win this now. Simply because without a second brawl, what is he doing against this? I will produce the minion because we will have four anyway, so my control tech is of no concern then. He already played the Reno Jackson, so probably we do... Uh, I don't know, no, we have the board control, right? We don't need to attack, no, we don't need to attack. Minions! 3-3 three, three and 3-2. Three, Did he already spend his execute? Yes, he already spent his execute. There is nothing. He played crush. There is no execute. Good. And he already spent roll. He will have avenge or whatever this 3 damage to everywhere is. I don't know. And he will have Baron Gadon too. He will have Bromash and he will have Alex Trust, of course. 
These are the things he will have. But we also know what he won't have. He won't have a second brawl. Yeah, we know exactly what he what he plays. Yeah, so that's good. Yeah, our deck is greedy as hell. I told you that the deck is greedy as hell. No way that we're gonna lose a control matchup if like I mean it's nearly shameless how greedy our deck is. Yeah. I mean this is like I mean uh, what uh, Kern uh, Sky Golem uh, Keltuzad, yeah it's nearly shameless I would even say. Yeah, he is the revenge. He needs to play this, otherwise he cannot get rid of Keltuzad. And he plans to deploy his um, Baron Gedon. Like, that's the idea. Um, so we should not overexpand, but I'm curious whether he will have enough BGH targets, but I also don't want to play this into uh, Baron Gedon. So what we actually will do is... Uh, it's 3 against 7. Mm. We should just play one thread every turn. Not putting this into Baron Gaddon. Perhaps if he played Reno Jackson, perhaps he can now begin to use this. And this kills also Baron Gaddon, I don't know. Ah, this also kills Baron Gaddon, we use it. Boom! Five into your face! Pow, pow, pow. Yeah, I mean, the heal is already gone, so we can just do it, I think. Yeah, it's also very in the end game. I don't think we will need it if you have this and this. Oh, look at this. No, he's arming up. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. We have this. For justice! For bam! In your heart! True heart! Okay, good. Um. Palm, 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 token, palm. And Reno Jacks, uh -huh. is there any removal I have? I have forgot about. No, I don't think so. <laughs> but more important than the third in life is the 4 6 body here. <laughs> we forgot the death ring. Mm. Fortunately, I didn't play the BGH. Uh, uh. Ah, this game, guys. How long did it go? Oh, only 26 minutes. Yeah, how, how are we supposed to do 40 games a day if we play 26 minutes for that game? 26 multiplied 40, yeah. 1040 minutes. 17 hours. We gotta be rich! No. Yes. Yes. No. Probably not. What's our play? One nothing, two nothing, three this. But perhaps you could also coin into this. We need something else. No. Oh no, not cases at least. The deck is so fucking greedy, guys. 
No, 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 no. The deck is so greedy. Uh, no, 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 <laughs> no. Oh no, guys, please not. Please don't. Oh. Oh. We need to have the possibility to consecrate, I think. How can we play Coin Acolyte? He, can, he won't play two minions now. He will probably play one minion. So if you Coin Acolyte, perhaps you have a dead next turn. He will perhaps attack it. The chances that we will have a dead turn are too high. We cannot risk that, right? Perhaps we also have to um, handle this with this. The minion is not bad in itself, like the reinforce. If you coin out this, it's not bad. He could attack. Perhaps you don't play this, perhaps you only minion up. My brain is a little bit hurting here. I don't know exactly. I don't know exactly. The Acolyte could eat more damage, but we have perhaps my MC tech, we have perhaps this. If we coin Consecration here, it's uh, definitely reasonable, but... He plays a 4-5, we play nothing of concern. He plays another minion, gives us such a damage. He play 5-5. Five, five. Uh, he cannot keep up if you do that, right? He cannot keep up. If you play Consecration... He plays 4-5, he plays rubbish. Oh, I'm gonna check this. That's really good. We play the fishing tournament and see how he, whether he fishes. We could even lose with Reno Jackson. 9-15. We need that we win the Joust or we play the heal bot instead. We cannot heal for 15, that's too few. Nine plus six is fifteen. We were forced to play consecration last turn, unfortunately, otherwise we could have let me think. This is much worse against Battle Mage. I'm 
I guess never lucky. Like, because we should have just risked it. Let me think. This is fucked up. Shit, shit, shit. It's really bad. Let me think. Five, five would have helped in case we get this. We can hope that it doesn't burn. He did have burn. Seriously. <sighs> Guess he's kidding me. You're <laughs> fucking kidding me. <laughs> Why? <laughs> This will get pinged, so not that good. Eight. We can't put this. We need to do this. They are all break. They are all even. Like eight, 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 five, eight. All evens. We don't need the coin. They are all evens. What? Are you kidding me? Did you just send the five four and the four six? <laughs> I'm trying so hard here, but it. What? Ah. It still doesn't make sense, but yeah, whatever. Oh, there's a BGH. Okay, okay. Let, let. Oh, then he's out of cards. Let the, let the uh, Punisher, uh, the Punisher, wie hat die Fleißigen? Yeah, um, the, the Fleißigen or the Welt or whatever. Like the, the, uh, yeah. Um. If the deck is empty, we always get. If the deck is empty, we always get the joust. Divine Shield means. 8, 11, 13, 14, 15. What's that Divine Shield? Divine Shield means. We cannot attack because we have freeze. Divine Shield means he simply attacks with one to kill the Divine Shield and then he attacks with the other. No, we can simply get the joust. And we always win the joust, right? Yes. We win the joust. Uh, 18, 13, 14, 15. So how is it? So he will play without cards from now on. 
Not for four into the face. <laughs> Man, come on, please. One time. Confirmed, yeah. Win trading confirmed, guys. Are you kidding me? Yeah, this is divine justice. Did you see how the divine justice just came from the top? Yeah. I don't know whether he BM'd on purpose. I don't know it. Yeah. I mean, we will never, we will never, um, we will never know whether he BM'd on purpose. But after he trolls with it, like. To be honest, I think that um, I actually think that he made it on purpose because, like, he also trolled now with the with the guys, right? Perhaps he made it on purpose, but that also means the top ten for us because he's so friendly. Um, yeah, that's cool. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, whatever. Yeah. But this is like um, the the triads, um, uh, the triads. Um, how do you say the triads um, owns the world? No, yeah, I don't know whether you say that in, in English, but okay. So the triad means in this case our Highlander, and this is actually uh, we have like a triple tryhard. We are like a triple tryhard. Um, um, Oh, not even that fits. I you call? Okay, no, but um, we are triple tryhard. No, 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 we are really triple tryhard. For those who are actually watching my stream on a uh, uh, concurrent uh, problem, yeah, they know we tried this deck hard. We we ultra like. We, we were like building this Highlander deck, Paladin Highlander, and we were believing in it, and we played it, and we just got beaten up, and then we changed something, and then we got beaten up again, and then we changed something, and you know what? We got beaten up again, yeah? And then I, it, I was like always going through the deck, and I was always like, oh, but in, in theory it should be good, like in theory it should be good, and we were always getting beaten up, and at some point I didn't believe it myself, so I actually, I actually um, was completely desperate because I thought, oh, damn, uh, we have to play this secret aggro deck because, like, I mean, I wanted to play Paladin, but, but if this is not an uh, option, then perhaps the secret aggro crap. And uh, I was so desperate that I would actually need to play that because it's just not fun. But um, in the end, like, we gave it another shot, this Highlander, and it seems not to be that bad. I like, really not, really not. It seems that the the different oh, oh celebration celebration right ah I forgot the celebration um, yeah uh, first the celebration then the deck um, yeah yeah exactly um, here you are at the Ecolite. oh yeah the Ecolite. Yeah. That we won that game, please. Yeah. 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 We didn't do the Euro five five. He missed lethal. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he missed the lethal. Or he, or he like, like made it on purpose. Yeah. No, he made it on purpose one hundred percent. Like this. 
لا مثل ايه ده ده اس بي ام يا ده اس بي ام بي ام جوز رونج يا اوف كورس Uh, and that's also why he is 3k. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, that was really cool. Okay. So, yeah. So, what is going on? Yeah. And we are fucking try hard, guys. We are freakingly trying hard, and we, we, yeah, I mean, whatever. I mean, it's such a beauty. Look at this. Oh, it's such a beauty. I mean, whatever it is, but it's just like, oh, look at this. At least 30 cards. Just like 30 cards. I give you a comparison of a deck which would, uh, on the other hand, not be that beautiful. Something like this. <laughs> Something like this is basically not that beautiful, yeah? Yeah, as you can see, I would play it even differently. Like, I mean, the double Lebanon, of course we play double Shredder. What double Lebanon? Nonsense. Of course double Shredder over double Lebanon. Yeah, it's much stronger. Like, why should you run double Lebanon if you can play double Shredder with Shinazizers with everything? Power Maze, uh, Cockmaster. Shredder is good itself and it pressures and it's 4-drop. It's the only 4-drop in this slot. Yeah, you get the point, guys. Yeah, that's better. Yeah. And end with the power maze and everything. It, uh, end for synergize with Mech Warper. And it's only 15 cards. You don't even, like, it's really not that difficult to see the synergy of, of this card with the other re remaining of the deck, right? I mean, it's like, it's only 15 cards. But yeah, but this, guys, this here, yeah. I don't even say it's. Uh, it's, it's, I'm not even saying it's ultra strong, but it's like ultra, ultra beautiful. It's just like so many cards aligned and so many synergetic effects and so many replacements. Like instead of double true silver 1 1, instead of double mini bot 1 1, instead of double peacekeeper 1 1 1, instead of consecration, MC tech consecration. Just like the substitutes, instead of double healbot or double jouster, 1-1. One, one. Everything with diminishing returns. Yeah, instead of uh, double sky golem, kern sky golem. Just look at that. So nice. And it's so fun to play. Yeah. Waha, 11 again. That goes fast. But there are. Um, Ah, let's do more, and at some point we also have to conclude. Ah, let's fight with honor. The decks to be expected, no handlock, no demon handlock. The decks to be expected, um, Dreadsteed Warlock, um, Highlander Warlock, um, Dreadsteed Highlander Zoo. Um, there is something I forgot for sure. Yeah, Dragon Warlock, Maligos Warlock. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, cock hammer we keep because we only have that many weapons. We run less weapons than other players. Only one master. Keeper of Uludon. Reno Jackson. Um, yeah, Reno Jackson. Uh, I don't know whether we should keep that to be honest. Perhaps we should keep it in case it's too. Perhaps I was making a bad decision. Well met. 
Perfect decision was not clean. Perhaps Reno Jackson is so strong in this deck that he should have just kept it. So this is being played not in handlock nor in deem handlock, it's also not so because he didn't play anything the first two turns, which leaves Dreadsteed Warlock, Dreadsteed Warlock, um, yeah, should we just coin out this? I don't know. Doesn't really make sense, right? What's our next turn play if we do that? Let me think. Yeah, right. Nothing. Yeah, that's correct. It leaves Dreadsteed Warlock, it leaves Highlander Warlock. Dreadsteed Highlander. Dreadsteed Highlander and Malikos. Because he deployed it, it's unlikelier that it's Highlander because Highlander doesn't always have this. So if he does play this, the chance of it not being Highlander are a little bit higher. So it's higher that it's Malikos Lock or Dreadsteed Warlock. Then it is Highlander. We could have played Kokama, I think. But perhaps I also wanted to have the Kokama later, I don't know. I also wanted to have the option to decide turn 4 which one to play. Well, if it's if it's Dreadsy, it's also Highlander, so uh, never mind that. So uh, chances are higher that it's Maligos now. Yeah, I also didn't want to necessarily play the weapon because um, of coin into Sorus, in which then simply gives us a bigger amount of discount. We got this, so we will be able to probably draw nearly as many cards as he does, because Leon Hand simply draws three cards. Um, so that's very nice. I have to quit after that, or make Brea probably quit after that game. I'm feeling cognitively exhausted already, as you could. Perhaps also, as you can, perhaps also here. Hawk hammers even better, I guess. No, 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 it's not. The reason why I thought Cockhammer would be better is because we didn't get the heal from the true silver champion. Attack, attack. Mm. Yeah, perhaps you should have played the Cockhammer to be honest. At least we get the full replenishment, so that's already quite nice. It's also nice that this doesn't get handled immediately by the board alone and could get protected later. Gives a 4, 6, 7, 2, 4, 6, 7 card discount now. It's also very good. Needs to get handled, so he at least needs to do something against this guy. What did you find out? Nothing yet, right? He played... Played Bane of Doom. It looks like uh, Highlander-ish then... Just Standard Reno Jackson, perhaps. 
Yeah, you will regret this. You will regret this. This is the answer to that, right? Pragmatically, we could give it Divine Shield and Taunt. Yes, why not? Siphon Soul. No, I don't know. Ah, ah, there's some weapon here. Ah, ah. Ah, I hope it wasn't wrong. Perhaps it was. So many possibilities. Turn 7 we can still attack, and turn 8 we can also do another attack, but we will probably still break one of these weapon charges if we, if we decide to deploy him right away. And we should deploy him right away before Silence arrived. Silent Saw was exactly right, but okay, so if this attacks this, then at least we can kill it, so it was not that wrong. Like, well, I guess it was still wrong, <laughs> because, I mean... Yeah, but he also needed to siphon, so it's a little bit difficult. I mean, he also needed to siphon, so because of that, so... Um, so I guess... Um, I guess it was borderline. The board is empty and we could have a Murdoch Knight or a Pilot the Trader. Mm. Murdoch Knight probably better when, when the board is emptier. We can actually increase the value chunks. On the other hand, this on an empty board of course is also very very good. Um, And just Murdoch Knight on an empty board brings so much value, I think, because um, because it's not affected by AUE, but he has to respect the Murlocs because the Murlocs will not be one more, but the Murlocs will be two more if he lets it live, because he will probably not handle this. Okay, now he can handle it, but usually it's a two, two Murloc, and he probably won't be able to handle the Murloc and not this Murloc, for example, if you get what I'm saying. So probably he will always to Hellfire and Mortal Coil or whatever. Now he doesn't need to do it necessarily, but it still stinks that we can just put in Reinforce for like gain more from the deck basically. So he will Hellfire and Mortal Coil usually that. And this is so strong because this is Hellfire Mortal Coil into no tap because then he overdraws. So he, yeah, yeah, uh, you, you see it yourself, right? And um, yeah. This is what it is. So it is Highlander, probably no Dreadsteed, but we don't know it yet. Perhaps it is Dreadsteed, perhaps it's Sifka's version. We need to use these weapon charges to inflict damage to our face to convert our life total into board state, so then we can actually utilize these heals. This is important, it's very, very important. If you don't um, do this, uh, all cards are bad. We should do this as long as there is no silence. He could deploy Sylvanas, but then we can play a lot of stuff and try that he steals something else. Which is basically what we're gonna do. There is nothing else. We also played in a turn where he can still not play Sylvanas into Shadow Flame. So this is something which won't happen, that he simply steals it by playing Sylvanas Shadow Flame. And, um, well, he can silence it, but if he silences it, it's dead. He could play Sylvanas, but he always must be afraid that we can actually owl it. It's the only moment. Uh, yes. 
Ez van neki. Was that good? That was rubbish. Now we can attack and attack. Right. I mean, yes, I understand that Tyrion is corrupted. I mean, I don't even know what Tyrion meant. Tyrion is really not the, the old lad he has been once, right? I mean, if he is silenced and corrupted. I mean, I thought he is the, the god of the light. Like, the light bringer. Yeah, whatever. Okay, never mind. Okay, but I'm just saying. Yeah. Okay, so we could peacekeeper has to save or saves a little bit damage. But then again, we said that we don't mind to get damaged. Yeah, it's obviously the standard Highlander, like some kind of version. Sifka plate. With Reno Jackson, of course. Yeah, this on this, why should we? We want to lose life. What's the... This saves us seven life, so it's like a heal bot, right? Yeah, it's like a heal bot. What is eight damage? Could have dealt. I mean, he will also play one Molten, so why should we attack face? In average, he will have 60% on the Molten. Perhaps 65 if he keeps him, what he probably will. 65 on the Molten, so in average, he will have, like, why should we attack face? Yeah, never lucky, guys. I mean, like, uh, why? Why did the implosion just sit for. Uh, the yeah, artifacts this really. Yeah, we even need to deal the damage because of Leon Hands and stuff like this. Yeah, obviously it was. Hey, why for four? Why? Why? I mean, seven. He goes to nine. Uh, it's not gonna do it. Yeah, sixteen against twelve. We need to draw those cards very badly. Need to draw those cards. We have Jackline to equality, that's a good Peacekeeper. Peacekeeper, then this survives as a 5 3. So this is clear. If we peace keep, we can actually 3-3 three, three and 5-3. Three. That must be good, right? That simply must be good to get a 3-3 three, three and a 5-3 three for 3 mana instead of shielded mini pot. It must be good. Value. Ridiculous chunks of value. It was not that clear that he plays my guns in the version. The reason for that was that we didn't saw Void Collar yet. So the reasoning, the, the chances that he runs my guns were actually under 30%, I guess. I'm just making up numbers here, but I really believe it was probably below, below 30%. Because we just didn't see Void Collar yet. And the standard version also doesn't run my garnis. <sighs> yeah, fighting against windmills. We still have consecration in there, do we? Yes, we do. So we can wait for the equality for equality consecration. We don't need the knife juggler for that. So we could also just play the knife juggler here. But why should we? We just overexpand the board if we play the knife juggler here. Why should we do such evil things? We just over we just we would just overcommit. There's no reason to do that. Perhaps even doing this because perhaps Uladan will want to strike. 
That was not that clear, but this token is for two reasons. First reason, well, we want to get kind of value in general. Second reason, against AOE, that's better. Third reason, this is better with equality. Fourth reason, um, well, he could have, for example, now also attack first and then play Team Rust. Could have like a big, big equality turn perhaps next turn. What do you think? That we prepare for a big equality turn next turn, and then yeah, but then he can play Jaraxus and then we are fucked. If he if he does it, if he does it, I mean it's not, it's not necessity. How does it work? Yeah. Doing these bombs now. Keep her off older man. Perhaps something like this. Whereas we didn't need to. Yeah. Not that clear. But we need to play something, otherwise, he can simply deploy Jaraxus and we are up, and we are in such a bad shape. So, um, no, I think it's correct actually. I think what we just did was actually correct. We win in fatigue, so that means he must play Jaraxus at some point. And with this, we can actually probably still prevent him from playing Jaraxxus now. He is actually 350 times higher rank than we are. <laughs> 350 times. <laughs> so it's, yeah, whatever. We made it, guys. We squeezed the equality out. We, we, we made it. We really made it. I'm not saying we will win now, but I'm just saying we just squeezed the equality out. Is Hellfire out already? I think so, right? So there's only Twisting Nether left, but there is Twisting Nether left. Keeper, not yet, not yet. No weapon, no weapon. There could be Reno Jackson, there could be. No, Molten is already out, but there could be a second Molten. There could be Jiraxos. No weapon attack. We need to prevent him from playing Jaraxxus. That's the only mission. It's the only mission. And it's not mission impossible. And silence? No, we need the silence for Sylvanas. He already played Shadow Flame by now. We need silence for Sylvanas. Sylvanas answers can't Latouf. He can still not deploy Jaraxxus. Um, well, he could. Yeah, that's a problem. I mean, we, we really tried to. Uh, we will lose. Likely. I mean, we cannot say that we didn't try to prevent the. Uh, 
Is it good enough if you get one of those? Oh, isn't it? That's not really good enough, right? Probably not. Let me think. <sighs> mm. I think we need a silence to potentially break through. Perhaps we should have not done this in case of MC tech, but... Okay, this looks like Reno Jackson or Healbot. Too much, too much pressure. Cannot answer the pressure. Not having that. I know it looks good, but I don't think. I don't think. Oh. Here's MC Tech by the way. <laughs> shoo hoo, shoo hoo, shoo hoo. I guess. Yeah, perhaps we'll have the luxury to, to silence this if it's taunted even. Yeah, here Texas and Reno Jackson. Yeah, this is how it works. How much fatigue? Four. Four and Fernandes later. Yeah, and Reno Jackson. It's not gonna work, guys. It's not gonna work.
Ah, yeah, that's it. Yeah. It's almost enough. The reason why we lost that. Well, it was close enough. We didn't apply enough pressure. Uh, actually, do you know, like, the reason why we lost it was Sorison, by the way. Now, and the good trade of my gun is. Uh, like several things did need to happen. First thing was a good trade with Marganis. Second thing which needed to be uh, to occur, like first thing was the good trade with Marganis. Then the second thing which needed to occur has been um, uh, Soros and Jir either having Jiraxus, having Jiraxus. It's not always that he has Jaraxus. And the other thing which needed to occur was... Um, um, the other thing which needed to occur was... Um, the other thing which needed to occur was... Um, okay. The other thing which needed to occur was that um, he also got the Soros and discount on Jaraxus. So there were quite a few things which needed to happen. Which happened. <laughs> okay. Sevanas, by the way, could have saved us. No kidding. Sevanas could have also saved us in the darkest hour. Yeah, I know what you are saying. You are saying we should have played this, right? Yeah. Or should have been? You mean it would have been... Uh, you mean perhaps it could have been close or what? Ah, not really right. Yeah, well actually... Was it not completely over or... Um, yeah, I was just thinking it's completely over anyways, but... Um, like actually it's not like here was the thinking like if he steals well hmm, yeah perhaps it wasn't all completely over right if he if he steal infernal we actually still have a chance yeah we didn't steal infernal we stole the 4-1 rubbish but um, no let's let's just talk about it um so what what happens like uh so let's say, I mean, we need to play Reno Jackson to heal ourselves up. Yeah, what I didn't really like about it was, um, I mean, obviously we lose everything again, right? I mean, okay, no, let's just uh, first talk about the situation we had, and then we can actually talk about um, what would have been if he would have actually stole a 6-6. Six, six. So he had like 6-5-6-6-6-6. Six, 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 six. So even if you play Reno Jackson, what happens is one of the 6-6, six, six, can attack Reno Jackson. And Reno Jackson simply dies. So he got a 6 2 left. Um, one of the 6 6 uh, attacks mind control tech, so that's a 6 3 then. And um, yeah, and one of those can even attack the BGH <laughs> in theory. Yeah. Um, I think he had like uh, two damage on the board left or something, but he could have also simply traded the two damage into into uh, the BGH. So dealing nine damage to us, we go to 21, and uh, he has three infernals. Actually, now he got four infernals, and uh, he simply slams us after we slammed Sylvanas. Yeah. So so if you don't steal infernal, it's over anyways. But if you would have stolen infernal, nah, whatever. Probably not that great. Yeah, but whatever it is, I mean, I'm, I'm actually, let's, let's conclude about the day. So, um, yeah, actually it was not completely over, actually. Um, actually there were some things. So first of all, 
Sylvanas would have probably, like Sylvanas, even after Jaraxxus came down, could have probably also won. Because Sylvanas is a pain in the ass, can steal taunts and then perhaps he simply dies because of that. That's one thing. Another thing being um, Dr. Boom could have eventually, I don't know, he had BGH, never mind Dr. Boom. So, never mind that. Yeah. Yeah, Consecration, of course, could have also helped. Yeah, Consecration actually would have helped, to be honest. Mm. It would have helped if Tyrion wouldn't have got silenced. Because weapon is basically the most important against Jaraxxus, because it increases your reach by that much. I guess there were kind of a lot of things. Yep. Yeah, I know, we were, two, we were two damage off, I know. Yeah. Yeah, I know, I know. Would have been lethal if he attacked with weapon that turned and face with recruit early. I don't think so, right? I mean, like, yeah, if he can, yeah. Yeah, right. I mean, if you take your glass ball out and um, the glass ball actually predicts you the future, yeah, then it would have been lethal if you would have done a lot of certain stuff. I don't even know, are you, are you talking before Jaroxus came or after? <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. Mm. Um. Um. Good, so the conclusions of today. Thirty games. It's good because it was the day off, so thirty games is absolutely super decent. Seventy-three percent instead of sixty-three, right? Like yeah. we want to gather one hundred games from the twenty-third. So what this actually is is this. Well, actually, it's. Not really working, right? So we rather take the last three days for that. And at the moment, we are at 47 with 72. And we would like to see a 63 so that we play it in tournaments. Yeah. At the moment, it looks pretty decent, actually. Yeah, okay, guys. So this is like the stuff from today. So, yeah, that's the stuff of today. 
Um, yeah, I mean, yes, like for those we, we know, like we discussed it earlier. So, given our deck choice, I already said if we actually play the Paladin, the, the Highlander Paladin, the only Justice Paladin, then we would also like to play probably a Highlander Warlock. I just say it shortly. So what we concluded is that we always want to bring the monkey deck because the monkey deck is just, I mean, you can also take a look at that, but the monkey deck actually proved worthwhile if I see it right. So with the monkey deck we played 49 plus 21. Yeah, so here you see the paladin stats by the way from like where we, like, like where we just tried to build it and it was horrible. But perhaps, like, there are perhaps like few things to be mentioned about that. I'm sure the one thing was that we actually played the suboptimal list, of course, because we just were just building it from the scratch. And the second thing was that I was also kind of misplaying at that time. I don't know whether it was because of my mood or because I didn't take it seriously enough or because the deck was new. But that was the case. I also always misplay a little bit more if being facing weak opposition. But okay, so that was still the, the, the bad times. But like now we do a new performance because of that. The Warrior, the Ape Warrior, we played like 70 games. 70 games of the Ape Warrior. Insane, guys. I mean. It's like 49 wins is, um, yeah, what I'm saying is this is for sure above 63 because like even if you play these 30 more games, this won't go below 63. So we will definitely get, we will definitely play the Ape Warrior. The Ape Warrior, we will definitely play the Ape Warrior and um, so the Ape Warrior being uh, this warrior, yeah. Ooh, 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 ah, uh, insane. Insane strength. Um, so this was this. This is all legend level, by the way. Yeah, we are always usually only tracking legend level or extremely near legend level, but usually only legend level. Okay. So that was UAA, and that's the reason why we should play it. Um, and Paladin, as, as we said, we just make a performance now. And if we actually gonna play this for sure, which we will in Conquest, and if we gonna play this Highlander for sure. We have like two control decks. This is control, pure control, it's ultra, ultra greedy. And this of course is also greedy because control warrior is greedy. Whereas this is a rather not that greedy warrior list, but whatever, it's still greedy. But both are basically anti-acro. It's anti-acro control. This is anti-acro control and Reno in its essence is anti-acro control. So both the bear decks being anti-acro control, I would of course, because of the conquest essence, also run a third deck which is anti aqua control and this would then be the Highlander Warlock and probably not the Dreadsteed version because the Dreadsteed version is rather anti control but not that much anti aqua I think the Dreadsteed version like you lose value by using Dreadsteeds um, like tempo you lose tempo but for that you get late late game value Red Steeds being good if they stayed on the board for let's say six, seven turns or something. Yeah. Um, so yeah, probably, probably this will be. It's also very convenient because it's just the first line, right? One, two, three. It's just the first line. Looks perfect. This, this, and this. And we have played these three. No, no, this. Yeah, but but you get the point. Yeah. So probably this will be that. And. Um, yeah, cool. Also, just from the amount of of classes we faced the last three days, so that's roughly one hundred. Ah, it's not. It's not really. It's only ninety games, so it's it. This is not to be taken seriously. But on the last ninety games, I mean, it's it's a direction. But it's we played warlocks a lot. But warlocks being ca all kind of warlocks, rather not that many demon handlocks or handlocks, nearly none. There we have, we face some of the new zoo or basically zoo. Um, we face a lot of Highlander um, warlock 
some dread steeds in there. This is what we faced. And, and we faced Maligos. And we faced Maligos deck, decks with Brent Bronze, Bronze Bird. So, despite Warlocks seemingly being completely overplayed with 20%, it's not exactly like that because there's like let's say one percent of handlock team handlock there's like three percent of zoo there's like five six percent of like maligos six percent or five percent of dreadsteed and seven percent of yeah highlander paladin yeah secret paladin mostly some mid-range druid warrior tempo mages mages were all tempo mages not even a single freeze match on the ladder at the moment rogues usually being disruptor rogue shaman being always the acro version yeah always very nice to face it with reno jackson decks hunter yeah i actually this is a, a celebration i mean you also see that it's midnight so we are also celebrating the tomorrow but this is really celebration guys and um, why and it's not only celebration it's science at the same point would you have ever ever believed that face hunter would die out no me neither that we would encounter the day where face hunter is just gone. I mean, we saw already a lot of environments where Face Hunter was simply really crappy and complete nonsense to be played. But the Face Hunters didn't care. They just didn't care. They continued to play Face Hunter. Whether it was raining or whether the sun was shining. Whether the meta completely indicated face hunter bringing face hunter is complete nonsense. Face hunter stood up to the morale and brought face hunter, but not nowadays. Reno Jackson changed it. Yeah, could you would you have ever believed that? Yeah, okay, but okay, whatever. That's just for me. Um, I go. Uh, yeah, I go chilling out now. Going to bed. See you tomorrow. We will play more of these Paladin games. We are still short of sample size. Very short. We have like 40 games and we need 100. We will see. Have a very nice one. Thank you very much. And see you. Uh, yeah, you, you. I can surely show also if you want to make screenshots. Like This is the version. It's not only the current version. This is probably also the finalized version as it is. Keep of Ulderman so good. In offense as well as in defense. Against the longer matchups, you just use it defensively, and in the shorter matchups. Okay. And of course, for those who don't know the list of the Monkey Warrior yet, it's a list of the Monkey Warrior. Really thought through, really nice list, really strong. Play it, it's really good. I know, I haven't seen this list on the ladder, but it's really good, guys. Have a good night. Thank you very much for watching.